What's happening, YouTube? What's happening, Verbally Vicious Nation? Um, in response to one of Daryl Horner's recent videos about cheating juggernauts and abortion, I personally feel that if you have to cheat to win a game, then you're really losing out on what the thrill of victory is like. Um, it can be a lot of fun if you do it well. But if you have to cheat, then you're just a punk pussy. Um, you walk into an interactive game with people all over the fucking planet, walk through stomping the shit out of them, um, and it's totally unfair. When I envision the juggernaut outside of Xbox world, what I see is a person who, when he was nine years old, probably weighed 300 pounds, lives his life in fucking track pants and jumbo fucking blue t-shirts, just eats in his room, locked in there all fucking day, too fat for school, too fat for society. They do nothing but fuck everyone else over in these games. Completely dumber than dog shit kind of people. Um, and totally unfair. That's a crock of fucking shit. My son likes playing hockey, EA Sports hockey. He thinks it's really cool. He likes the violent video games, but I'm trying to wean him more towards some sports-oriented games to get away from violence. He's six fucking years old. Periodically, when he's losing, he'll go over to the other team's side and he'll yank their goalie, go back to his team, and stomp the fuck out of them. As much fun as he has, and he does, he has a riot, you know, padding the fucking score, 25 to 2 kind of shit. Um, as much fun as he has, I've explained to him that you're realistically not winning anything. The other team doesn't have their backbone. Um, so you're not winning. Yes, you're playing and having fun, and you're learning how to do other things inside of it, but realistically, as a fair game goes, no such thing. So I'm, I don't know. He plays against the computer, so, you know, the computer ain't gonna get mad at him. Um, if he was playing against me, there'd be no fucking way I'm yanking my goalie. But, on a more serious note, abortion. I would say I'm pro-choice. Um, there's a million reasons why women make that decision. And when it comes down to whether the mother would survive or not, then it's not a decision at all. If a woman was raped and impregnated, then again, it's not a decision at all. People who use abortion as birth control, I personally feel you should be clubbed about the head and ears repeatedly with a blunt fucking instrument. Just for a few hours, though. Just, you know, fucking put some shock back into you. Wake the fuck up. As crowded as orphanages are, um, I think, you know, there, you can build buildings to house them rather than fucking kill them, if that's your mentality behind it. Um, abstinence is not realistically anything you can teach people, because you'd have to make the act of fucking less fun. You'd have to make tits and ass and soft skin and long hair. You'd have to make all that shit less fun, and that would be a tough fucking chore. Tits are fun. They are. Teach them how to do it responsibly. Today is the 6th of July. Yesterday I had a son who turned 18. And what I pound into him relentlessly, if you're gonna fuck, I can't stop you. Do it safe. Wrap the fucking thing. If she says she doesn't like it, then tell her too fucking bad. Not just pregnancy, but you have to look at the STDs that are out there today. Um, you know, I've seen a few pussies in my time, and I apologize for that comment. And, you know, I've seen some nice ones and some not-so-nice ones, but I've never seen one worth fucking dying for. And uh, there's STDs out there that just kill motherfuckers now. And that's, again, I've never seen one worth dying for. Wrap it the fuck up. Teach them how to do it safe. you got to. It's parents being afraid to talk to their kids openly about it. I have a very open relationship with my child. Um... Yeah, and I'm comfortable telling him. I'm comfortable asking him if he has protection. You need more. I'll take you to the drugstore. I'll go get them my fucking self. Um, there's a million avenues to take when it comes to protection. Yeah. And that in itself, if people just use common fucking sense, that would cut down on probably five million abortions a year. Maybe that would overpopulate society. I don't know. But buildings are easier to build than... Uh, you know, whacking kids, I think. That's just my opinion. I appreciate the fact that as a penis owner, I don't hold any rights on the subject. It's it's totally out of my hands. I accept that for what it is. Um, I just, I don't know. Again, people who use it as birth control, shame, shame, shame. 
um, a little bit of common sense, maybe sober the fuck up once in a while and uh, take a shot in the tits. Again, that's probably a horrible fucking thing to say. Um, on another note, what I'm going to try to do is uh, smoke free videos. Yeah, but I'm going to make a video about that in about four seconds. So, juggernauts, you suck balls, you cheating bastards. Um, play it fair or don't fucking play it. Play against the computer. Um, play against some of your dorky fucking friends and leave people who play it fair the fuck alone, prick.